Stationary September is continuing and we currently have a fountain pen from North Carolina from Walltown Craft. Walltown Craft Work. Right. Um, they're on Etsy. They mix or pour their own acrylics, their own um, blanks, what they call raw material. What they call blanks, sorry. Um, I'm, my mind's all over the place at the moment. Just taking a break from adulting. So let me see if there's any personal information there that we'll remove. So he poured his own blank, he turned his own pens, and the nibs, uh, like a lot of these artisan pens, um, the majority of which are in the US, the nibs are Jovo from Germany, and I have absolutely loved Jovo. It was my first ever nib to write with thanks to Twispy, my Twispy aluminium um, mint blue or mint green from last year. Um, I did an ink with me video so I'll link that up there or at the end of this video. I might have re-uploaded that video here actually uh, on this channel. So that's Walton, very nice box and there's stickers on the back there. And the good thing about having their own pour is that sometimes he would play around with a color and then he's tired of it, so he stopped making it. Like this one here, it's called Jawbreaker, which I think is um, is uh, the big bubble gum, right? That huge gum, I remember that. Um, and he poured several, let me see how this goes, and he poured several uh, of the same material, but they each came out differently for different pens. Um, and sometimes, let's have a look at that. Oh, that's so cool. And sometimes in the photo, it's really hard to see. So it's really, really hard to decide on. And it's, um, but I love this. Let me, let me show you his other works, which, um, from the same pour, how different each of them can look. Give me a second. So these are all hand poured from the same pouring batch. So he'll pour these colors, um, hand pour them, and look at how different they are. So you can see here the colors on this part of the blank or in the this part of the raw material have sort of thin, uh, become quite thin and become this sort of more pastel -y, sort of lighter color here and here it's this kind of greenish bluish reddish um, bits there and here it's really really blue and these are all from the same raw material from the same pour from the same pouring batch so a batch of acrylics that he hand poured and then cut into these pieces and turned into pins um, it is about as close as you can get to working with um, natural natural products because the hand poured nature of it. And this is true for um, larger pen makers as well, like the Fisconti, for example. I've shown you the Fisconti, the Van Gogh series, and those are hand poured as well. And they're faceted too, so I don't know how those guys um, I'm not quite sure what the production process is with the Viscontis, I'm not familiar. So these are quite unique and it's quite difficult though to try and get this on time on Instagram because of our time zone difference. In New Zealand, we are 20, 16, 20 hours ahead. So when everyone's up shopping, we're asleep. And when uh, we're up and ready to go, everyone's asleep. So, um, so this is the jawbreaker. I actually missed on one that he turned that has the strings, strings of colors on this 
body off white and I absolutely fell in love with it but it was sold because I was you know because it was like 3 a.m. in the morning in New Zealand or something um, and people snatched them up on Instagram and um, I had the good fortune and the blessing of being able to pick this and of course when the others are it's so difficult it's so difficult to look at the photo and decide that it's going to look what it's going to look but I'm very very happy about this I hope uh, he will pour this um, material again this particular uh, color this particular pour called Joe Breaker I hope he'll do it again because it's so very fun and I know a lot of people like it so well, it's not quite aligned let me try that again sometimes I get obsessive wanting to align all the stripes well not quite but you know it doesn't really matter um, so this one is also Jovo um, this time silver so it's fine I might ink that today actually um, I've usually um, write with with medium and medium looks like let me show you if I can find something non-confidential okay this is an entry about my cat so you guys can have a look there so that's medium and as you can see I have a sort of chicken scratch of a writing and it's pretty big writing so that takes about uh, not just one line but a line and a half each time because it's pretty big so if you want to do per line like these really small lines there you definitely need a fine and I can understand why the Japanese fine is extra fine for uh, the equivalent of extra fine in European nibs so uh, let's check this is this one here so that's I think Opus 88 uses Jovo as well um, that's what are we looking at that's medium there so that's medium and it would be the equivalent of a bold Japanese nib so it's just sailor and platinum and the rest of it so that is Walltown Crafts Jawbreaker oh, that actually fits really nicely with this I actually prefer cigar no clip but it does pose a bit of a problem when you um, try to clip it somewhere which is why something like this is very useful so you just have to push it a little bit um, it does it is designed to push and I don't like to push two pens here because they get scratched against each other I've seen people um, fit two pens in here but I just with the pens that I have I can't so and uh, the problem is that it started shaping down here if it's for two pens you have two bulge if it's for one pen then it's one bulge like this so I have been undecided so I have not been pushing uh, for but you see you could do that um, that's, oh, and this is what I am a bit afraid of because it's quite oh there you go it's quite tight um, so yeah for the moment I am using my fountain pens as desktop leisurely um, desktop leisurely leisure activities rather than a desktop leisure activity rather than uh, on the go I love it so cute okay talk to you later bye wait